A firewall is the necessary first step in protecting an enterprise network by establishing a barrier between a trusted, secure internal network and an outside, untrusted network, such as the internet. But are we missing something? While firewalls have evolved considerably over the years, so have cybersecurity attacks. In the past decade, cybersecurity attacks have become significantly more sophisticated. The majority of distributed denial of service, or DDoS attacks, are beyond what a firewall can protect against, and this can adversely affect many enterprises. Stateful devices, such as firewalls, IPS, IDS, and ADCs, maintain a state table for each valid flow. This needs to be checked against a device's rule set, and that requires significant processing power and speed. Therefore, a malicious attack can overwhelm these state tables, disabling the device. Significant architectural vulnerability occurs when DDoS attacks target stateful devices like firewalls. Security attacks may trigger several new connections in state tables. This requires internal resources to manage the load, but attacks can easily overrun them. In addition, DDoS attacks target connections and applications. Because of this, firewalls alone can't determine legitimate users from malicious ones when under an application attack. Stateful solutions, even if they have embedded rate-based DDoS mitigation, simply can't defend against the wide variety of DDoS attacks in the network today. For example, Augusta County Public Schools in Virginia were unable to maintain uninterrupted access to online resources and standard of learning tests due to an attack consisting of a UDP flood from a botnet. More recently, KrebsOnSecurity.com fell victim to a 600 gigabyte DDoS attack using a malware-infected mobile bot that leveraged thousands of devices. These are just two examples of DDoS attacks, but there are a number of similar cases every day in the news, which includes DDoS for hire, open source DDoS, and decoy attacks. So how do DDoS attacks work? DDoS attacks generate traffic that exhausts the computing resources of their targets, therefore preventing legitimate users from accessing network services. Although DDoS attacks are capable of causing outages, they often just slow down a network's performance in a way that can mislead IT teams into thinking that their network is simply congested, not under attack. In fact, Radware's research shows that firewalls themselves are targeted during DDoS attacks nearly one-third of the time. To mitigate the full range of network attacks, Cisco has partnered with Radware to develop a single, integrated, best-in-breed DDoS solution. Unlike traditional tools on the market, Cisco Firepower DDoS mitigation by Radware has a patented and proven set of algorithms that looks at the rate of overall traffic types, specific traffic parameters, and the ratio of different parameters within the IP flow. The result? It defends against security threats that often go undetected by traditional rate-based DDoS solutions. Cisco Firepower provides full protection against DDoS threats with the shortest time to mitigation and broadest possible attack coverage, and can detect multi-vector DDoS attacks and mitigate them in seconds, all with the lowest false positives in the industry. Cisco can detect attacks regardless of their volume, including targeted application attacks, which may or may not have a volumetric component. Furthermore, Cisco can detect zero-day attacks that use previously unknown vulnerabilities in real time. The ability to learn in real time provides an advantage over rate-only based solutions, especially in the case of morphing attacks. These attacks change in appearance and presentation over time and aren't detectable by rate-based solutions. Practically speaking, they can't be manually addressed on a continual basis. Auto detection and mitigation of zero-day attacks are huge benefits for enterprises that are trying to keep down costs. Count on Cisco Firepower with Radware DDoS to provide the complete protection that your enterprise needs.